Hello and welcome. And today in the second episode we will be building very simple agent from scratch and showing the eager pipeline that can pipe together several several agents. This will be utilized the knowledge and the toolkit that we're using today will be utilized later uh, in our course where we will be refactoring the rest service that I already introduced in the previous episode so go back there and grasp the key concept if you need to. So, which agent we're building today? It's going to be a very, very simple agent that will be A, reading test YAML, then converting YAML to the JSON, and then we'll be writing everything to the file system. And in order to do so, I will show you several concepts. We actually are going to build a local agent that only can read and write from the file system. And then we will pipe with another agent that someone already have wrote and uploaded to the PyPy to just show you how simple it is to plug in and stitch together several agents that has pre-prompt that been implemented by different, different people. So here is YAML. I want to do some basic things, just, you know, read it, maybe do some updates with that YAML and uh, write it to the file system. So let's start with uh, creating a new file, uh, run.py. This is where all the magic will be happening. So first thing first, we will need to have some very basic API that uh, our agent should be able to uh, to use. So here is what I have pre-created, pwd, current directory, and obviously I need to import import OS for that, then ls, so that obviously shows everything in the current directory, read file, write file, that's about it. So this is what agent is needed. Uh, as uh, you might know, to create the new agent, you need several things. First, as I mentioned, that of course you need a tooling. So let's create a list. This is all the function, all tools that the A will be available to the agent. Now let's have uh, some form of uh, instructions. System, system instructions. And this is pre-prompt and let me actually just copy paste uh, pre-configure prompt. Here is a prompt. You are the agent, uh, you are you are LLM agent that can read write data from the local file system on user's machine. So this is pretty much it. This is the whole agent and obviously I need to I need to instantiate vertex. This is just how uh, the, the framework works. And so uh, let's create the agent. So agent creation is very, very simple with the fra framework. And in order to get at least some highlights, let me do the proper importing. So here is how, uh, how agent creation works. There is a method inside of the agent framework, uh, create agent from functions list. In input, it has um, surprise, surprise function list, model name, we're going to use 1.5-pro, and system instructions. So this is all you need to create the agent. And I'm going to be uh, showing you, actually, let's start with very, very simple example, because we will need to install several things anyway. Uh, send uh, message and we're going to send message uh, something like this read the content of the files test.yaml so we're asking it to read the files test.yaml right and because it has a proper uh, proper system instruction it has the access to the API it should be able to do it without the problem printed so let's go to our uh, yeah already did some pre-configuration let's install uh, Gemini uh, Gemini agent uh, toolkit da -da -da -da. let's wait so it's we'll just install the latest toolkit that we are using here and all the dependency including vertex yada yada and other stuff that we need in order to run our example it's ooh, quite a lot of stuff quite a lot of packages anyway let's uh 
wait, allow it to do the magic. Now we can say python run.py. So it should re read the YAML file in theory and should, okay, you see it doesn't have vertex. That's, uh, that's fine. Uh, let's just install it then. And I also will have to update all the dependency. Ah, interesting. Oh, right, right. So the problem, of course, is not that I have not installed it. The problem is just that I have not correctly imported. That's uh, a different thing. So let's go. Let's go back to the studio and let's just import it. Yes, of course. Pardon me. Okay, so let's do that trick now and let's see how does it work now. So hopefully it's now doing the request to Gemini. It's reading the file. So here is the content, right? So the content of the file, interestingly, it's already spelled out into the JSON, even though we have loaded the YAML. Okay, fine. Interesting, interesting. Uh, read the content of the test.yaml and print it out of curiosity. I don't know why, but it's an interesting observation that it's actually already printing a JSON. Um, okay, I'm going to force it, print it as is. <laughs> oh my God, let's see, let's see if it's... Uh will comply with... Yeah, so now it's actually correctly uh, showing YAML. And now I want to emphasize one thing. You see it's printing this, uh, this semicolon, I guess, JSON in the beginning and the end. So even if you want to write down this file somewhere, you cannot as is because of these parts. This will become important a little bit later. Uh, okay, so now let's do a pipeline. As I, message, as I mentioned, we will do a simple pipeline where we will read, uh, where we will um, transform and we will write. Uh, first, let's create the pipeline. It's a very simple step. Uh, we're creating the eager pipeline. Eager effectively means that in the, all the actions will be executed right there in place. And uh, now we can say pipeline uh, dash step and then provides the human readable step description. So now the case is that one. And what is really meaningful and useful, there is a step summary. So you can say that pipeline summary, and this will uh, ask uh, Gemini to print the summary of all the steps that have been executed. So let's just, just, just do this one thing, so read stuff as is, and print it, right? And uh, nothing else. This is all we're doing right now, and, uh, and show the summary. Actually, I don't have to say uh, print it as is, uh, just as is, because obviously it's not printing it anywhere. Uh, so, okay, so here is a summary. Okay, the content of the file was read and printed to the screen. The content of the file is. So this is effectively the, uh, the actually, let's make it printed. So this is effectively the results of the step. And this is the results of the pipeline, full summary. Now let's convert it. And for the conversion, this is really what I wanted to, to show to you. So let's imagine that someone else have written the agent that knows how to work with JSONs. And that's already someone work on the pre-prompt and post-prompt that trains the model how not to put these things around the data. It, it was already explained to the model that you actually going to, uh, your output is actually going to be used as the data in the file. So the output should be without this garbage because it will be written as is. So the agent is just the Python library, right? So I can install this agent. In this case, I already uh, have someone create a Gemini JSON agent with the framework that we are uh, using tonight with this project. So now I literally can uh, go and, um, and import. So I can import that agent someone have created and I can easily use that agent. 
So that agent is compliant with the framework. It was used with the framework. It has exactly the same uh, what I described to you in, in the theory section. It has actions, it has pre-prompt, uh, and uh, it's capable of doing, uh, of doing something. So in our pipeline, let's utilize that agent. Let's say pipeline step. Uh, and now let's say convert data to JSON format. Uh, and by default, if I will run it like that, I will be using default agent because here is my default agent file system agent. But here I can actually say that this step requires me to use JSON agent. Uh, so let's do that. Let's go to the uh, pipeline execution and let's run because we'll have summary in the end so it should show me some of the summary of the stuff that have happened during the execution so let's see let's actually see what's happening i'm really eager to see myself what will be the summary and how it will perform the job um yaml formatted text uh, family department <laughs> uh was looked successfully and we accessed the <laughs> interesting so it just sh showed what it did but it have not showed the 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 value of the step that's fine so looks like it's working now what i can do i can uh, have one more step that says write uh json data where where let's say to out.json file and again because this step doesn't have agent will be done with a default agent which is our file system agent so it can read and write right because it has this method write and this method read so it's capable of reading and writing let's proceed so now hopefully under the hood it will do the, the proper thing it will produce a json json without all the garbage because we just use the proper agent for that and now we actually can um, and then write it to the file system. So let's see how well it will perform. Maybe not well, who knows? That's always an interesting thing. So we have outdoor JSON. Here we go. Here we go. We have a JSON, fully farmed JSON output as we expected. Now let's assume that for some reason I want uh, all the parents with uh, Dapcom Enterprise 69381 to be removed. So let me implement one more step that remove parents with Dapcom Enterprise blah 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 and generate outdated JSON. And again, I will be using JSON agent for that step because I already explained this is the agent that uh, best when we working with a JSON formatted data and then I will be writing uh, the results. So let me delete uh, our JSON. Let me rerun it. Let's see if it will work. <laughs> I'm eager to see myself. Who knows? Who knows? I don't. I don't know, honestly. Hopefully it will work. Yada, yada, yada. Ba, 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 bam. One, two, one, two. And... And and okay we now have four steps so it takes actually five because summary is also a step so here is a summary first you ask to read content and print and then you ask to write json file to output so let's go and see oh interesting we no longer have so we have infant one infant two and infant one and infant two are the only two because the parents have this uh, Debcom Enterprise and the parents got removed. Interesting. So this is exactly what I was asking to do it. So here is here is an example of the pipeline and how to build it and how to build your very first agent. So now go and play with it. Build your first agent, pipe with other agents, go nuts. And I'm looking forward to see what you will be building with this. Now, if you want to help us, if you want to, to help the project, we have several things. A, considering joining our Discord channel. B, considering pinning me or the other contributors to the project in the Discord channel, because we might give you a bug or feature. We have a lot of stuff that we are building together. So please do considering helping the project and go and try it out. If you want to know where to start, there is an example section inside of the main repository of the toolkit. Go there, try the examples, file bugs, try it in your own project. Write about trying it in your own project. 
I promise I will reshare, I will help to make you popular if you have the content. With that, I want to thank you for listening to me. Have an amazing rest of the day. And I'm looking forward to the next lesson when we will start investigating how to take a REST service that actually is database that is fully deployed in the cloud and start translating it from the classical way of developing services to a new one. Thank you, folks.